it was my dream to be able to produce an adorable bobtail cat that everyone would be able to enjoy. April Arguin of Jacksonville, Florida has successfully introduced two new cat breeds to the world, the Sphinxy Bob and the Bam Bob. The Sphinxy Bob looks identical to a regular Sphinx. It has the gorgeous big round ears and the hairless features. The only difference that makes them superior and unique is the short little bob tail. The unique feature of the Bam Bob is they're identical to the Bambino cat, which is a hairless cat that carries the gene for short legs. So they have the same awesome looks and short, cute little swagger, but they have a short bob too. You are the world's first ever. With help from her mother, Wendy, April has spent the last three years attempting to create her new breeds. We had to really do our research before we started into the breed, before we even did the very first pairing, and make sure that the genetics were all appropriate to combine together. We got expert advice from our veterinarian and really made sure that we were gonna be producing beautiful, healthy cats. So the hairless gene in the Sphinx cat is a recessive gene. So the first generation, all of the kittens are actually gonna be produced with fur like a normal cat. So then we chose the best kitten from that litter and we bred them again back to a hairless cat. And then the final product is the hairless bobtail kittens. It takes three generations to get the hairless gene back into the kittens and carry on the bobtail. I'm really proud of my daughter, what she's accomplished with this breed and just the amount of work and dedication she has for it. It's just incredible. With their inquisitive personalities, April insists that these hairless cats are the perfect companions. We call them Velcro kitties. They need to be with you and on you and in bed with you and everywhere you go. They are wonderful with children. They love to interact and play. They're very outgoing and social. There's a lot of people that come to us every day to adopt these cats because they have severe allergies to cats and they can't tolerate the fur. April is currently trying to get her new breeds recognized by the rare and exotic feline registry. They require a certain number of kittens to be born first, and so we are waiting for a few more litters of kittens before we'll be able to be fully registered. It's definitely a passion. It's not a business or something I do with the goal or intention to make money. We do this for the betterment of the breed and really just the passion of sharing these amazing creatures with the world.